Hey everybody, this is Brian from Carving is Fun. In this video, I want to go over a couple quick and easy ways to help some of you guys protect your really nice quality whittling and wood carving knives from damage, especially when you're storing them. All these are pretty easy to do, readily available, and some of them you might even be able to do at home without buying anything at all. Now the ideal solution would be to get something like a sheath for your knife, right? Uh, like these guys right here. Like the Helvy knives, you can purchase a, a knife sheath for the, the knives to slide right into. Helps protect the blade, has a nice piece of wood in there. Helvy I think sells them for a, a pretty affordable price. Um, I want to say it's between $5 and $10. Great price, piece of leather, piece of wood stitched uh, together. And it securely fits over your, your blade. It'll protect it really nicely. Um, some flex cut options uh, for you or if you just have a Sloyd knife in general. Uh, if you have a Sloyd knife, I highly recommend you get a sheath regardless of uh, what kind of Sloyd knife you get. I personally like them, plus they allow you to, some of them allow you to hook it to a belt or, uh, so you can keep it on you. So if you're moving about or doing um, wood carving in a wood shop, it's a great option. Um, I personally keep my uh, pocket knife in a sheath with a little diamond plate sharpening knife. So if I'm uh, sharpening stone, so if I'm out and about uh, and I want to whittle, I can do that. Great for camping. It's This is basically the sheath that sits on my belt every single day. So if I'm out and about and want to whittle, I have that right on me right there. Some other great options you can do too. Uh, some knives come in a tube like this. Uh, you can just keep the tube and when you're done, uh, clean off the blade, put it right back in the tool and then you can put it in the storage without worrying about it getting damaged. Great option right there. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, just use what it came in. Uh, some knife companies like the Lee Ferguson, they have it, they come with a tube and also a little foam stopper on the top, which is a great, great way to help protect your blade as well. Um, protects from anyone from getting cut if they handle it wrong. Uh, and just, you can put it right in the tool storage uh, right after you're done using it. Uh, some people use corks as well. Another great option, you may have a bunch of corks. Those are perfect uh, little makeshift sheaths. Uh, some people might also have like foam boards, uh, basically cardboard with a little bit of foam in the middle. Just jam your knife in there. Deepwood Ventures does that themselves. That's how they send it to you. Great cheap option if you have it. If you, uh, Just raid your kid's craft closet. They might have some in there. Who knows? Uh, another great option, uh, Drake does this. As well, they use a clear tubing that you can just slide your your blades into. Great cheap option. You might have some of this uh, kind of tubing like in your garage or um, you can get it at the hardware shop for pretty dang cheap for what it is. Uh, great option if you need to go grab some, let's clear off some of the stuff here. Another, some other great options are like rolling tool bags and little uh, tool pouches like these guys. FlexCut does have their own kind of rolly tool pouch. It doesn't really roll up so much as fold, I feel like, or at least this version. They have other versions as well, but you can shove your knives all up inside of there. Uh, it's a great way to do it. This one was the palm and knife set, so it came with a couple little palm tools and your regular knife set, but it did not come with the, uh, the rolly bag. I but the packaging did have a free rebate for it, so I just sent that out and they sent me a free rolly bag. Great way uh, to protect your blades. I didn't have to pay anything but postage to get this one in, um, in addition to buying the, the kit new, that is, but that's a great option. And if you don't have that option available to you, um, like I didn't have the uh, free rebate with my OCC knives, I just use the Beavercraft rolling tool bag, which I absolutely love. It's a nice, thick canvas uh, rolly bag. Has extra reinforced section right here to help prevent your knives from poking through. You can hold up the four knives in there. I personally like this one a lot. Uh, I think it, it's between ten to thirteen dollars, depends on where you get it from. But great, great cheap option. This folded over roll it up and then you can use the the strings to tie it all up. 
very nice way to store and um, protect your knives as well. Now if you wanted to make your own like leather sheath, they're super easy to make. Just literally get a piece of leather and you can probably stitch up your own custom one. Like if I want to do this one, just go, go up there, stitch up around the, the knife where I want it and I'll have my own um, leather sheath. Uh, you might have some lying around. If you have like thick canvas material, you can do that as well. Um, you can do what they, uh, what Helvy does. If you can see in there, there's a piece of wood with a hole cut into it. Uh, that way the blade just slides right in there. It has a hard piece in there and it has the material on the outside holding it all together and protecting it. Uh, those are some great cheap options for w ways to protect your expensive knives. Uh, that way they last much longer, they don't get dinged up in the tool, uh, toolbox, and you don't accidentally reach in there and cut yourself. Alright, if you like the, the video and you want to see more, I have plenty of videos on here that are geared for beginners and people getting into whittling and wood carving. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody, and I hope you all have a great day.